Your Grace, we've had this unsavory incident of uh, allegations being thrown all around. Uh, more than anything else, it hurts. And the allegations are false, it hurts even more. While others might uh, do the sit and run uh, tactic of, you know, throwing some mark on you and then running away with it. But all the more, it not only affects you, but also affects the community as a whole. And you being the shepherd of the community, it hurts even more. We would like to know from you what is happening. And uh, uh, your answers would help and assuage a lot of feelings of the community and the faithful. So my first question would be, how do you view all this, Your Grace? Well, these are all allegations and accusations which I have already told in other channels as false and it is totally false. Well, now I am 25, 26 years priest and as priest born, brought up in the guise of my son, ordained and served in the guise of my son. People know me well and they have seen my ministry in the parishes, in the institutions. I always believe in a teamwork. Take people, assistants, religious together and always I had a satisfaction that I have done little better in wherever and whatever responsibilities given. Also I have experienced and very much now uh, it is usual and common we have few handful of people who may not be happy with certain things. It happens anywhere. But what the allegations, accusations are done now is, is too much. I'm not frightened, but I'm hurt. Hurt because these allegations, none of them till today, this moment, have come and asked, what is this? Even without even verification, straight away going to the media, straight away going outside, the church is hurting. Public or public, there are people who can take advantage of such allegations, accusations. There are people who can have a little different apprehension. Not only about me, they have accused few priests, my diocese, few lay people, and it affects their families, it affects their future. So this way, I'm a bit uh, not very happy, happy. But I trust God. I see certain changes slowly happening because from day one, I see every day one new allegation coming. Every day and something added. Every day something added. And it is totally cooked up. Cooked up to the extent anyone can say, there is nothing true because it is too exaggerative, exaggerative in everything. So, in coming to the situation in Mysore Diocese, the situation has not gone out of control as people think. The faithful are praying and they are with us in the church. The Catholic Association and other pious associations are with us, standing by the church. But unfortunately, some of them from Mysore have connection outside places like Mumbai, Mangalore, Bangalore, some associations. And these people come to Mysore and they make some press release and uh, reporting, which has caused more confusion. And these people coming from Mysore who are totally alien to the Mysore setup depend totally on the false accused documents which are fake. They are depending on that. And even there, when they came to Mysore, they did not meet me. In fact, for the first time when they just uploaded the web, I called. I called one of the persons of that association in Bombay and 
I said, what mistake you have done? You should have verified. You have to verify it. That, that is the ethics of uh, the world media. Which is true, which is false. Just simply you, at random time, damage not only to me and the people who are referred, but to the church in my soul. And I say, welcome. Welcome. Come and see the situation. Come and see the records and documents. And you will come to know what it is. And even I volunteer telling, when he himself asked, what of my airfare? That which is taken care of, but you come. And he said, I'll come back after seeing my diary, he said. He never came back. Rather, evening he comes back to the mail, telling, there are few priests who are, who are being targeted by my police company is wrong. I have not complained against any of the priests. I have not even complained about anyone with regard to this. Because I believe as a shepherd of a diocese, I am a father to the community and I am taught recently when we went to the uh, Adlibina Pope Francis was good enough to address to us to be compassionate, fatherly, in spite of all the difficult situations. And I go by that spirit. But many times, people think, silence is my weakness. That is leading. But I don't have other option than praying for them and letting go things a little more. I have to suffer, but surely, to this truth. When it came to a woman's allegation, Your Grace, have you fallen back on uh, CBCI's guideline on workplace harassment? You felt there was a need to bring in that uh, framework of CBCI on workplace harassment, if at all it has been a workplace harassment? There is no harassment in the workplace where I am staying. The person whom you are referring is about the person who was who allegates that we can kidnapped and this stuff. She is not the bishop's house staff directly. She is not working in the bishop's house campus at all. She, is, she was working to one priest as secretary, as he was a secretary to one of the commissions of the diocese. He was paying and he was taking the work from her. She is not directly the staff. She has nothing to do in the campus. It's totally a false allegation. False allegation. Yeah. And also, um, what do you think is the church stand on this? I mean, if at all, is there a stand that the church has taken? Yes. We believe strongly, again, in the spirit of the church. Dialogue. And that should lead for reconciliation and peace. Our Christian community, in spite of all the persecutions, allegations, accusations, whatever it is. We have to take up in the Christian spirit, though it is not easy. We have to suffer a bit. But tomorrow, when the truth comes out, they will know the value of our Christian, Christianity. And, of course, this is the stand of me personally and the College of Consultors. I am in touch with my consultants who are guiding and helping to take decisions. And now we are going ahead for dialogue in view of peace so that we don't further damage, follow the damage in the church. Because simple faith of the people, especially non-Christians in and around, they have great admiration for our church. So this is what. The other side, I am told, but the Catholic Association has taken the legal perspective. And three of our priests, because they were affected very badly, to the extent of even one of the priests to be kidnapped. So he had, and another two had to give a police complaint, not against any individuals, to probe into the matter. That process is very and uh, you have reached out to the 37 odd priests who have. So, 
kind of uh, first and foremost uh, they are not that is okay i got the document uh, mm-hmm. sent by the bombay people because uh, someone questioned and it came by whatsapp to someone else and i got it and there are signatures repeated all right so it should be less than 20 okay. and out of 20 i'm sure there are few who did not know what for this i because few of them came and confessed first part of said i didn't know i was taken for a trial so it should be very less 